Welcome back to the episode of Seven Days to Alpha 18.4. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on the early morning hours of day 21. There is a horde awaiting us soon, but before that, we've been making some preparations in my inventory. You can see we got another blade trap crafted on up. We've done a little bit more resource gathering, so hopefully we have a modest enough amount to continue reinforcing our base and the electrical base defenses that we have going. So let's go ahead and hook that thing up, and then we're going to be going out on a hunt for oil shale to kick things off not oil share oil shale because uh, oh also let's make sure that we go ahead and craft our first ever chemistry station this will be coming incredibly in handy because the one resource that we're significantly short on to craft more blade traps is none other than the oil which can be made in the chemistry station so we are working towards that with that beaker that we found at the end of last episode bros that was incredibly clutch and hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out let's go ahead and uh, get some things uh, smelting up in here mainly i do got a little bit of this iron stuff usually that's what i like to do if i find like level one iron weapons i will usually just kind of boop, toss those into the burner and we need more steel than iron so let's at least the start i don't even have enough iron to get the next steel going so that's unfortunate but those two over there are producing and then i think we did we don't, I mean, we got these iron knuckles here, and then I do also have some just raw scrap iron, but I think I kind of want to save that because raw scrap iron is also useful, so we'll just go ahead and let that smelt down. Let's go and update our base a little bit, then we will come back down. We'll produce all the oil shale, or all the oil that we can from the shales that we found, and then we'll go a little bit of an adventure, a trip on everyone's favorite rocket ship known as... The Jeep, the 4x4, whatever that thing is over there. I'm sorry, I like putting things on walls. You know, paintings, boom, that's my stuff. Rugs, eh, not really my speed, but that's A-OK. -okay because from now on, we will actually be putting the blade traps as a bit more of a, 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 a proper defense over here on the ground because the people have spoken and the people have said that putting the blade traps on the ground tend to be more productive because when it's on the wall, for example, a zombie could be here, not really get hurt by the blade trap, but actually hit it and damage it. That's the last thing that we want. First things first, we bought this wire trap over here that, ooh, hopefully is going to be able to reach that, or not wire trap, the wire tool that is hopefully going to be able if all goes according to plan go from that all the way to here we got a lot of power production coming out of those which is the great news and beautiful 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 it does reach that marks our third blade trap i unless we really get a lot of oil i think like best case scenario i think we got like four or five more blade traps coming our way so we got to see how that all goes i also and i'm planning on getting some concrete mix for hopefully the next upgrade after cobblestone so we definitely got a few things lined up and our base might be surprisingly well prepared because we really started like reinforcing things pretty early on and we really needed defenses to put in work because this time around i mean we still got a hefty amount of ammo here especially if we whip out the m60 wherever my beloved is but uh yeah we got mainly nine mil seven six two and some short can rain and that will be hopefully what in addition to the traps it gets us through the long night ahead but uh where is beautiful one of my claw hammers all right ogre here oh first things first though may we dawn this new chemistry station at the break of dawn ah i see see what i did there because the noise that tells us it's a dawn happened. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. Okie dokie, though. Let's go and get some of this oil cracking. We got to get some fuel up in here. First and foremost, we can create four of the oil on the dot, which will definitely be coming in handy because we need all the oil that we can get. And we got to go and get these shales ASAP after we do some stuff with this claw hammer over here. Star! Why is your leg broken, as y'all can tell in that lower left-hand corner? Yeah, so long story short, um, I don't really know how to explain this. I, you know, I, I couldn't get down here, so I had the bright idea, like, I was stuck. Like, I, like, my guy would not climb down the ladder. So I had the bright idea of jumping. Yeah, yeah, my guy did not grab the ladder on the way down. I literally just jumped to the bottom of my well. Very, very painful, but, you know, that's A-OK. -okay. Now then, the next step for us before we head out for that oil shale, or actually, now that I think about it, as much as I'd love to do this right now, we should do this a little bit later. Uh, we still got some gas over here with our auger ready to go, but we should upgrade our base while our oil is cooking. So why don't we go ahead and get that oil? We're going straight to the west, as a wise starfish 
would say. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything, everything like that. It does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. Just indeed do. I'm crossing my fingers that that's the way that it do. Yeah, no, everyone deserves a little bit of that happiness, a little joy, a little smiles across their faces. And whether it comes from something goofy I say, or, you know, statistically speaking, something goofy I do. I, I got a tendency to derp. It's truly just my natural tendencies, you know? Like, I don't, I, like, I just, I just don't know how to describe it. I think in another lifetime, you know, I'm not a human being. I'm literally the word derp. Like in the middle of a piece of paper, like, I don't know, in the middle of a Harry Potter book somewhere, you know? Just like that one occurrence of the word derp. That is me. Now, 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 it's time for us to try and locate this oil shale that we are looking for. It should be, if I'm not mistaken, because I've never really, like, gone out of my way looking for oil. I believe it should be a pretty dark and shiny... I think that this might be it over here. A very, very shiny resource. And I think that there's going to be a big deposit of it right under. Let's freaking go! And on top of it, we are getting some small stones too. Making this a beautiful double whammy. But look at this major oil deposit. Drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill. Dude, we are really getting some last second prep in. We need to get all the oil that we can. Produce all the oil that we can. And then... Hopefully, we will be able to get a multitude more blade traps before the day 21 horde does come. If you're new to 7 Days Star, what is this horde that you're talking about? Yeah, every 7 days, uh, title of the video, huh, you know, or title of the game, I should say. Every 7 days, a massive horde comes to just absolutely destroy everything you know and love. You know, usually base is sometimes your favorite teddy bear. I don't have a favorite teddy bear at the moment, but if I did, the horde would destroy it too. But yeah, they just show up and destroy everything that you know and love. And long story short, they get harder every time. Last time, I blew through like a thousand rounds of M60 ammo, which is like the giant light machine gun. Not light at all, bro. That's a thick machine gun if I've ever seen one. But uh, something along those lines. Oh, nice, dude. Plenty of deposits right over here. Like, I'm not going to get too thirsty with the oil. Okay, I'm not going to try to become uh, some freaking oil tycoon. Uh, who, who am I? Oh, big hit. Who am I kidding? I'm going to become an oil tycoon by the end of this season. But... I just need enough so hopefully we can produce, I mean, in terms of blade traps, right, we have enough forged steel for about five more. So we need enough oil for five more. So we need about 13 times five. That's going to be 65 or so, I think. No, that's my math. Yeah, I think it's 65 or so oil. And oil takes uh right now we got about 10 oils worth of oil so it looks like each of these deposits gets us about 10 so we really gotta get this bang for our buck but luckily and bless up for this we have access to power tools because once you get to that point like don't get me wrong i still want to get a nicer auger i still want to get a nicer chainsaw i still want to get some of the nicer power tools but in seven days to die when you get your hands on a power tool your productivity just goes through the roof chief you know what maybe we'll just go till our gas is out on this thing because we got about uh, i'd say one and a half more reloads after that fresh one that we just did and each of these oil deposits aren't like super huge or anything but we'll we'll be able to get a modest amount who knows maybe i'll see how the how does the pickaxe work on these actually you know is it like a one hit wonder it, it takes multiple hits to get what we want and it does also drain our stamina if we mine it this way so a little bit annoying in there is that oil down there too oh baby it goes deeper drill baby drill drill baby drill come on baby even deeper after that i wonder dude it does literally is this like dude if we keep going down is there just gonna be like a massive oil deposit at the bottom that's the vibe that i'm getting we're about to like crack into something massive well, as much as i'd love to just continue going down um that's not the path i'm trying to take because we do have some of these above ground deposits and i don't want to freaking minecraft my way into a pit of lava i don't think seven days today has pits of lava but you never know man you always tell yourself there's no way i'm gonna dig myself into a one by one hole of death in minecraft and it seems like every time that it happens the fact that you're tempting fate it angers fate and it just has a pool of lava magically appeal under you appear under you you know you never tempt the one by one whole gods oh hello hello trying to help me dig down here chief i'd appreciate that yeah yeah i don't think he's trying to help unfortunately also nice little side effect we are getting a decent amount of experience and speaking of experience we got two skill points ready and rearing to go i think that i'm going to continue saving those because uh if i recall properly 
I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to maybe level up my barter. There's a few things that I'm considering. I'm just not 100% sure what to invest that skill point into, so I'm just kind of trying to... Uh, I'm, I'm keeping my options my options open. I'm not, I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket there. So uh, we're just going to see how all that goes. But in the meantime, plenty more shale coming our way. And how much did we need again? It was like... Uh, can I go like one more deeper? Nah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to Minecraft my way to doom. All right, we got another reload, so not too much longer to go before we make our way back. But yeah, that that is gonna be a major milestone once we get past this day 21 horde. You know, I mean, this is just gonna be the first time we really have like widespread. Yeah, it's the first time we have electricity on our base, so it's gonna be pretty big for us in that regard. Definitely excited. However, just like I. I think we're only gonna have enough blade traps to cover maybe two out of our four walls in our base. Obviously, another thing that I want to do is continue expanding the base, but for now, we are mainly upgrading the base, so to speak, just so we have... It's not massive at the moment. I do really want to expand it, trust me. We're just focusing on making the walls strong, because with, with each horde, we do face stronger zombies, and at some point, I believe they're called Demolishers, show up and... Well, you know, their name's kind of self-explanatory. They're pretty good at destroying things. So, uh... Yeah, we are trying to be well prepared for that. Okay. Shale wise, how we looking, how we looking? 1400. If we convert that to oil, that is almost. We almost have a hundred oil, dude. So, yeah, if we just get one more hole here, just one more hole, baby. Just one more hole. I think we'll be good and we can dipsy doodle daddle on out. We got a little bit of time, so maybe. I mean, we got the inventory room too, and you know me. I'm a. Nah, man, it's much. Ah! Okay, we'll make a small detour. I know it's just going to be cutting it close because blade traps take a lot of time to create. Oil takes some time to cook. Like, there's a lot of intricacies to it. So I don't want to tempt fate too much and just spend too much time and not be able to, like, wire up our base. But, man, it's going to be so cool to activate all those traps and hopefully see the meat grinder that our base slowly turns into. Oh, yeah, that's what I kind of want to start saving up my skill points for, too. Because I do want to have a dope base. What can I say? It's dope to have a dope base. We got to level up our intellect. It takes two points now to do that. But at the next level of advanced engineering, bada bang, bada boom, you learn how to create, uh, what should we call Shotgun turrets. Yeah, we will be able to automate shotgun rain. That'd be something awesome to toss on like every corner of our base or something. Like you gotta admit that would be dope. I am sweltering hot, so maybe I will not take. Like I wanted to have a little loot adventure here in the desert, but I'm currently having a heat stroke. If you can't notice, so minor detour. Little English was hard. Minor detour may or may not need to happen, but uh, yeah, like I'm saying, hopefully everyone's having an awesome day. A little bit of a life update for some of y'all, since I know some of y'all might be like, Star, what has been going on in- Oh, nice, we can get this one too. Star, what has been going on in your life? Yeah, so since the last of Days to Die video, I graduated, baby! woo Believe it or not, I graduated my college career. I know some of y'all are appalled, like, Star, goodness gracious, I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But no, it was obviously a big milestone, like, you know, it, college. I don't know, man. It was definitely an adventure. It was quite the ride in terms of, like, classes and stuff. There were some very tough classes along the way, but I always kept chugging through. And I gotta say, man, some of the best stuff and um, some of my favorite things throughout it all was being able to keep up with YouTube, keep up with the daily content. And, of course, nothing makes my day. I was talking about this in the last day on Earth video a few days ago. Some of y'all stuck around till the end of that, but... Man, throughout it all, nothing gave me motivation to continue, not just with the schoolwork grind, because I ended up graduating with, I think it's going to be like a 3.85 GPA or something. If some of y'all are curious, I, uh, I got a bachelor's degree in computer science, so yeah, that was quite the roller coaster of emotions and sleepless nights, but on top of that, we obviously kept up with the daily YouTube videos, which by no means was easy, but... Man, it's just so much fun. Y'all know me. I love the YouTube grind and honestly, like throughout it all, another thing that I just absolutely adore about it all is just your guys' comments. Like literally nothing makes my day because I can relate back to it so much because like back in my middle school days, like I literally had my one favorite, mo not mobile YouTuber. I don't think there weren't even really mobile YouTubers at that point. But my favorite like gaming YouTuber ba back in my day. We're going to get this oil shell cook and then we're going to go and actually get some cement or concrete mix into. But yeah, back in my day, there was this one fellow by the name of SSOHPKC Seamus. Some of y'all may or may not recall him. He hasn't really posted videos in a long time. But man, back when I was like in middle school, dude, what was that? Like 10 years ago at this point? <laughs> I'm old, you young whippersnappers. 
But yeah, he would literally post videos on the daily. And man, I don't. Oh, I need more empty cans, dude. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta get to eating a ton of food. Dog food. Chili, all of you get in more bellies. We need cans up the wazoo. I'm about to be fed, baby. But while we are doing that, let's go ahead and get this cooking. But yeah, back in my day, uh, let's go and do we need a significant amount of cans? That's actually quite concerning. Uh, boop, let's mix up all of those. Can I just like craft cans from scratch? Empty cans? Uh, actually, yeah, I can. Dude, as strange as it sounds, your boy needs some cans. <laughs> uh, why don't I get like... I'm gonna need a lot of cans, dude. Let's get 30 of them or so. Um, let's toss a little bit of wood in here. We'll get that smelted down. And while that's smelting, let's definitely toss that in there. And honestly, let's smelt down some of our scrap iron because we're gonna be needing some iron to get what we want done. Uh, that did not happen. Okay, so let's get, yeah, let's get like 40 or so. It's gonna be about 40 seconds there. And we'll continue our little pipeline of oil production here. Like said, that thing's cooking for long enough. You should be able to make a blade trap here kind of soon, right? Yeah, we're just uh, actually quite quite a few oils away. So it might be a little bit longer than soon, but we got plenty of empty cans. So we got another seven and a half minutes of oil there. Bro! Dude, I knew it. This might bottleneck us a little bit. It's going to take us 15 minutes to get all of that oil cooked up. So hold on, I'm going to have a few more cans over here. Just gonna wait for all these to finish off and just continue mixing these. Bro, this thing's gonna be cooking for a hot minute. Um, yeah, you need a lot of wood in you there, Chief. You need a lot of wood in your life. About half an hour, so to speak. So, um... What was that noise? That was terrifying. Yeah. Most unfortunate. And then what do we need? I think we need some more forged steel. Bada boom, bada bang. We got a few of those cooking up. And then... Ten more of the oils. And then we still have even more oil shale after that, but at this point, I think we're pretty okay on the oil shale. We we do not need more. I'll put the food away. We jammed our face filled with enough. We barely ate any of them, but we ate a few. We ate a few. And all right, while all that's cooking, let's get to mixing up this concrete. Then we'll double back here, get some blade traps, and then we will also start uh, construction, or should I say upgrading, some of these walls. And then once we get concrete mix, we'll be able to upgrade some of these walls as well. I'm going to prioritize upgrading the walls that I've put blade traps on already because uh, I like blade traps. You know, if, if you haven't been able to tell or decipher that quite yet, but let's go and get some of that concrete mix in, lads. And luckily, the trader has an intact, and he's not too far away, but the trader's got an intact concrete mixer that I kind of sort of just borrowed from the fella. Why? Because it's free, mate. Who doesn't love a little bit of free in their lives, but... Yeah, like, throughout all of college, like, something that really got me through was uh, none other than reading some of your guys and gals' comments because I could relate to them so much because, like, back when I was watching gaming videos on the daily, because my favorite YouTuber, SSOHPKC, back in the day, he would literally post, like, I kid you not, like, sometimes 10 to 15, sometimes 20 videos a day. Back then, YouTube only let you upload, like, 15-minute videos max, though. But still, that's, like, a lot of content, you know? And he, he uploaded qu quite a lot of it, and I'm not gonna lie. I've watched so many of his videos on the daily back then and just... Uh, like, it, it was just, man, I loved it. I loved it. It was such an entertaining YouTuber back when he was about that life. And concrete, oh, baby. Let's get to mixing, because that's going to take a while. And then let's go ahead and create some more. I got to do that a workbench? Okay, well, I've got to double back to the workbench to create some cement. Because I actually bought my last cement supply from this guy. But, yeah, it's just been, uh, it's been, it's been quite the journey. You know, ever since then, but I do, I remember that feeling. That's honestly what got me into making YouTube videos in the first place, was the whole, you know, like, I, I related to it. I literally grew up watching YouTube videos, and I thought, dang, you know, it'd be so cool if I could, like, recreate the feeling that my favorite YouTuber gave to me every single day where I came home, turned down his videos, and just kicked back and relaxed. It was, it was just awesome. I'm just smiling, thinking about the good old days in that regard, you know. Simpler times, slim, simpler times, but... Nah, I seriously loved watching those gaming videos. He was so entertaining, and you know that's why I started doing YouTube in the first place. Cause I'm like, man, if I if I could be like that and you know, like you know bring a smile to someone's face, that'd be awesome. You know, I literally like I'm not just like some random person who's like, yeah, yeah, I want to be a YouTuber, and you know, I was showing you, I saw some famous YouTubers, I want to be famous. I was just like, dude, like I I grew up watching these types of videos, man. It'd be so cool to do the same thing, and you know, like hopefully bring a smile to someone's face, and that's just so like such so motivating, you know. Like, even if I'm having a down day, like, if I read a good comment saying, like, yo, Star, I was having a down day, and 
your video really like brought a smile to my face. Like, I, 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 I gotta make the cement in this? Bruh. All right, well, I guess I'll make some cement in this form. I gotta smelt down some stones, don't I? And all right, let's toss some of that in there. Let's continue that production. Let's get to cooking. But yeah, you know, like regardless of how bad my day may or may not have been on a given day, being able to read a comment like that, like, would just always bring a smile to my face. You know, and let's go. That's another blade trap right there to increase the arsenal. But yeah, doing something like that would always just bring a smile to my face. And, 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 like, uh, what you gonna call? Okay, that train of thought's destroyed. Let's, let's reverse it a little bit, but, uh, yeah, like when someone would comment that and say, like, you know, oh, this video, like, really made my day, you know, helped me forget about some stuff going on in my life, you know, and I read a comment from someone who comments that, like, there's nothing motivating like that being able to know that, you know, I can recreate that feeling and, and bring a smile to someone's face. So, yeah, you know, the whole graduation thing got me oddly sentimental in case you haven't been able to tell. So I kind of been just trying to touch on that a little bit in a few videos. And, you know, just really thank you guys for being a part of the journey. Some of y'all, like, I've, I've been playing Seven Days to Die for, I think, like, close to seven years, like six or seven years, ever since the first playable alpha. Some of y'all might be OOGs to, like, the O, oh, like, super OG, bro. And I just want to say like, thank you for being a part of the journey and hopefully thank you for letting me bring a smile or crack a smile to your face at some point and hopefully, you know, help help you out like that. And I, I appreciate you guys, you know, help, helping me out, you know, and, you know, those supportive comments. And I, I mean, like, they're supportive to me. My like, Star, how is me saying that, oh, you know, this video brought a smile to my face? How How's that supportive? But it just is, like, you know, just knowing that I could bring a little bit of joy and positivity to the world and just, like, do something like that. It's, it's, it's an incredible feeling. So I just wanted to... Really thank you, lads and lassies, for that. That's, you know, a big reason why I'm always wishing y'all every single day an absolutely fan for fantastic day that only does keep on getting better because that's that's all that I want. You know, just want to bring some joy to everyone. But, okie dokie. You know who doesn't want to bring joy? The zombie horde at the end of day 21. So that is why we are producing this beautiful, beautiful upgrades. Right here, baby. Uh, we need to put down a thing. Boop. And we're gonna need to upgrade that a little bit because our walls have suffered some damages. I'm not gonna lie, probably wanna get some spikes going here on our personal crafting queue because every single workbench is a crafting queue, and queue including our personal one. So let's get about, uh, let's, let's get like 60 wooden spikes because I would like a mix of blade traps and spikes to protect us. I think that may or may not be a good idea. Can I up, can I, can you not repair broken? Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, can you not repair broken spikes? But you can. Not the cheapest things in the world, but yellow, I'll give it a decent go. Pretty expensive. It costs 10 wood every time to repair them all the way. But it, take, it takes 20 to build one from scratch. So honestly, not a bad investment to repair these. Usually my spikes get absolutely wiped out. So I'm just not used to this feeling of being able to, to recuperate. But y'all, listen, if y'all been around, you, you know, you should be pretty proud of me. Like, this is a pretty solid base that we have been building here because I, y'all might know, I'm a lot more on the loot and run around side of seven days to die. I love base building, but man, I got the attention span of a goldfish, so I just want to go pew, 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 but we've been doing a good job really kind of uh, stepping things up over here, and I'm excited to see how these future hordes are handled with such incredible base defenses that we're building. Stir, oh my god, your base defenses are awful. Listen, okay? By my standards, this is a dang good one. I'm, I'm proud of what we're building right here, man. I'm proud of this. And speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our entire, I think entirely encased, entirely encased cobblestone walls. We got some extra cobblestone. I'm going to hold on to that because, again, I am planning on expanding this. But just given the time constraints, day 21, the horde is coming tonight. It's already 11 a.m. as y'all can tell from the top over there where my mouse is. Sorry, there's no clock. Well, boom, where my mouse was, that clock over there. We got about T minus uh, 12 hours, 13 hours or so. So that's why I'm really worried about these blade traps and this oil. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick run and get that cement. Also, if we're like, if we got a little, uh, if I got to run back to over there, I do have some stuff I want to sell at the trader anyway. And man, I'd love to get a perk to get me better prices at the trader, but I really do want to invest in those shotgun turrets and continued base automation. I really want to build a base that is just dank delicious, you know? Absolutely incredible. And there we go. We got that over there. We go. Oh, I forgot to craft the cement. Ah! There we go. We can start crafting a little bit of that. Yeah, we need that uh, small stone to smelt down a little bit faster. Why don't we go and boop, 
split that in half to double the production of that. I probably, another thing I gotta start doing, since we are running into this, like, throughput problem where, you know, we have the resources, but time is the issue. We probably want to get some more forges and stuff cooking as well. So, that'll probably be the next thing I look into. Uh, do I want to do that right now? No, that'll be an after day 21, have it ready for the next horde type of problem. Uh, why don't we get some more steel after this too? Because with that, we're up to 76, um, and how much is it? 65, 78. So if we get two more forged steel, and then I'll just max out the forged iron, we'll have enough for the next stuff. We gotta find more mechanical parts and a few things like that too. But y'all can see we got a decent amount of resources we're able to tap into here, which is nice. And speaking of those resources, oh, let's get the blight trap set up, lads and lassies. And that spike, yo. This is true and utter base building here, lads. Oh, and speaking of things that I like to do, hello, hello to you. Uh, we went looting last time around. We found a lot of books. Books sell. Books sell pretty dang good. I'm gonna go and sell these books for a pretty dang solid price. Esh, get it, lads and lassies. Esh, freaking get it. And then that oil has to continue cooking and... Uh, I don't know, man. The oil is concerning, but... I mean, we still got 12 whole hours till things hit the fan. So we want to really capitalize on that, but we're doing an okay job. I know I gotta go set up the blade trap. I'll do that. For now, I'm gonna go sell these books, pick up the concrete mix we have so far, reinforce the blocks that uh, are holding our walled blade traps. Then we'll put the new blade trap down, a few things like that. But yeah, hopefully y'all are enjoying the series as well, because also Alpha 19, man. They haven't set a solid release date, but they've started teasing the next release of the next Alpha, Alpha 19. I cannot wait for that to happen. Y'all know that the series is going to start, or we're going to start an Alpha 19 series when that happens. Make sure that you are staying tuned because that Alpha is going to be big, well, big, big, big. Right. I think it's like, I saw, I think a fully automatic shotgun's coming to the game. Like, there's some really, really cool things that I cannot wait to get my hands on like properly lads i am looking forward to that fully automatic shotgun and a few other new weapons i believe that have been teased bro we don't want any more books i'm selling okay there you go he wants more books i'm about to say dude i'm selling knowledge that's invaluable you know call me a library bro i got Welcome knowledge back, up man. the wazoo happily joel i'm glad you're such a studious fella dude i want that cigar because that's actually an item in the game don't think i have one yet but that's an item in the game that grants you like uh I think 10% better deals. So, honestly, yo. Are you selling a cigar by chance, my good sir? I am, oddly enough, in not desperate need, but I lack one. I lack one quite a bit. There is no cigar for sale. Come back mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We get new goods daily. Sounds good, broski. I will do it. That's not the cement mixer. That is the cement mixer. We got 326 of it. I think it takes 10 cement to upgrade a single block. So we will have a few upgrades. Let's go. Uh, let's not forget the mini bike. Sometimes I, 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 I do that where I forget my vehicle if it's nearby. I forgot to Natir a few times, although... Those other times that I've forgotten it has been a different situation. Because I kind of ran out of gas. <laughs> that's not forgetting it. That's that's more like deliberately ditching it. But yeah, hopefully y'all are enjoying the series. Obviously, this this our current Alpha sled has a lot in store. But Alpha 19 is around the corner. So really looking forward to that series. And really going to try to go harder with our 7 Days to Die series that time around. Obviously, y'all know me. I'd love to always be posting 7 Days to Die. But now that we've graduated college... Oh, baby, I am ready. I am prepared for quite the epic Game of Moments series of uh, 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 the Seven Dias Amorir. And you will be going down. I kind of want to space these out a little bit so we at least get, like, some hits here and there, you know? Because they've been a little bit all over all over the place. Um, well, we got this one on that corner. What I might do here, what I might, I think, end up doing... Right, I think. Let's get rid of this thing. Uh, sorry, wooden spikes. You gotta go. Let's, uh. No, no, no. Hello, hello, kind sir. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe just like toss it right on that corner right there. I say it's pretty decent. The corners, I mean, the zombies tend to run around there a decent amount. And this will literally. Another thing that this does, since it's at the knees, I think this will chop off some bloody legs, logs. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Oh, and before we get to upgrading this stuff even more to the concrete level, let's go and check on the oil. I'm gonna another blade trap cooking because, again, time is of the essence. Even if we continue cooking oil, we gotta make sure to get a blade trap cooking from all that oil. 
And yeah, okay, bless up. Did not fall down this anymore. My leg is healed from those shenanigans that happened, like, literally right before I started the video. And alrighty then, give me some of that gas, and give me some of the blades. Then three minutes, 20 seconds, we will have some more. Oh, hold up. I can craft another one. It only takes... No, never mind. It needs 13. I was about to say, it only takes seven? No, it takes 13. So, all right. Well, that continues. Let's get some of this concrete. And man, our base is coming along nicely, but... Yeah, hopefully y'all are enjoying the series. As always, if you are, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a great way of letting me know that it is a series that you are enjoying. And I'm a man of the people, so I always do try my diddly best to uh, upload absolutely as much as possible. All right, all right. Let's continue getting these defenses nice and set up. Because uh, we do need to hook this thing up. And ooh, I just realized a slight issue. That might be a bit too far away from what we're looking to do. Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. Oy vey, oy vey. Yeah, this could be a problemo. We might need to get a little extension cable because as y'all can see this line, if we stretch it too far, yeah, it turns red. That means we can't go any further. We gotta go a little bit further. So we might need a relay. Do we have any of those downstairs? It is time to find out. Then we gotta put down the spikes and all that, but yeah, y'all. Things are going to get quite, quite interesting here. So, do I have those electric relays? Because I might have found them at some point, but also I may have sold them due to lack of foresight. Not exactly a thing that I am known for, I I, I must admit. <laughs> yeah, dang. Alright, so we might get to craft one of these from scratch. Luckily, it's not too bad here. Electric wire, electric timer, not nah, just... It's the wire relay. It's going to take an electric part and some forge iron. Let's get that wire relay. Bada bang, bada boom. That'll be done right after that blade trap is. So actually, we... I'll, I'll build a second one just in case. Better, better safe than sorry. I shall return downstairs in a second to set up that next blade trap. Because we do have some spikes over here we go to put down in addition to upgrading some of these walls. And trust me, these upgrades are going to be so nice because already... Check that out. This has 1,500 health. The level before that, the wood that we had, had like 400, maybe 500. So already major upgrades. Oh, come on, y'all. No, 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 no. We are not open for business yet, kind ladies. I gotta ask you to leave. No, 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 no. I do not want you touching my base defenses. I am preparing them for the horde. I'm saving myself for the horde. Don't you dare. Oh, baby, big hit, big hit, big hit. Let's get to sniping some faces. Tell her face, tell her face. Sorry, dudes. You gotta go. Boop. No, absolutely whip that one. All right. Let's just bash him in the classic way. <laughs> I, wish, I wish more heads would explode. It's just so entertaining. Okay, big hit. How did I miss that? What, bro? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ho, ho, and explode like a dang bomb. Yeah, you're not floating like a butterfly or singing like a bee anymore, are you, chief? And all right, we've dealt with that little mini horde. Star, you should have tested your defenses. I know, but at the same time, I just, listen, I really want to keep these defenses as pristine as possible for this horde that's coming, you know? I really just, I want to have such a nice surprise in store for them, you know? It's rude to have a, you know, just like half a, half, you know, a half prepared base. I want a full prepared base for them. I, I want them to know just how much I care, and I, I... Oh my god, I'm burping all over the place. Yeah, I care so much that I burp freaking here and there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Horde, to disrespect you in such a way. I will I will not burp in your presence. I'm getting the burps out now before the Horde appears. I'm that, that foresight I was talking about that I lacked, I'm working on it, if you can't tell. And oh, baby, there we have what I was talking about. Okay, can I just please upgrade? Like, I just want to do the spikes here, Chief, please. There we go. Yeah, so, well, there you have some of the upgrades we've done. However, that is uh, not actually the finalized product, so to speak. We have poured the cement mix or upgraded it to cement mix, but it's going to get even better than that. Believe it or not, right now it's still in its, like, wet... Isn't it in its, like, its wet cement form, so to speak? Like, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that this cement's going to dry and be even more powerful when that happens i'm like i'm saying i might be mistaken on that but like i'm pretty sure that i'm not because if i recall believe it or not i have not built cement in a while 
I always just kind of like, I never went the extra mile because I usually just like went absolutely ham, egg, and cheese on the uh, horde as it would arrive. I was pretty stubborn. I never really like moved up to cement or concrete. I always get the two mixed up. They start with C's and they're very tough materials. But uh, it's been a while, right? But I do believe that this should dry and like harden. We haven't seen that yet. I think it tends to take a little bit of time. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and get some more upgrades. And then let's run downstairs and grab those blade traps and stuff. We got about T minus, uh, what is that, eight hours? Uh, seven, seven, eight hours, something like that. Until things hit the fan. We got some more blade traps to hook up and set up. Luckily, these blade traps, we have plenty of electricity because even though we haven't had... Okay, there we go. And we're out of concrete mix for now. We are one short trip to the trader away, though. Maybe I'll bring some more stuff to sell, make a few more bucks. Cause like, dude, we, we walked out of there with more cement or more concrete mix and, well, an extra 2.2 grand in our pocket. That's not too shabby, lads and lassies, but overall, I believe that's actually going to start bringing an end to this episode of Seven Days to Die as well. Do not worry. Do not fret. We got some more blade traps. We're going to get those up and running, and we got some of those essentials. We're going to get all this stuff cooking, good looking. We've got a few more cements. We'll be able to start mixing forged steel and some of that. So all in all, not too shabby. And actually, if we can get 13 more forged steel, they, oh, we need more clay too. Uh, we're a little okay. I suppose let's let's get some clay. I don't want to use all that clay, but let's get some clay cooking into there. Okay, I, I need I need fuel to get clay cooking. That makes total sense. Completely understand. <laughs> and then we'll make uh, some more forged steel and stuff like that. The oil continues cooking. The blade traps continue, and the horde continues. It's. Uh, it's approach, but with that said, with that done, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Seven Days to Die as we wait for our defenses to set and as we wait for this major horde to make its way over here. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.